Hey everybody, how's it going? So recently I did a video where I had a ask of New York State residents, which is that you contact the uh, Consumer Affairs Committee Chair and tell them that you support Right to Repair. Now, a lot of people responded saying, well, what do I say? And well, I mean, if you're pro-Right to Repair, you would explain why it's important to you. And what I noticed from my comments is that a lot of people are really, really shy and they just are kind of scared to pick up their phone and call someone that they don't know. And maybe they're afraid that the person on the other side is going to come out of their phone like a Venus flytrap and eat their face or something. So I just thought I would do this video to show you that that's not like not what's actually going to happen. So I'm going to give them a call. And uh, yeah, so this was a common comment. You know, I'm kind of curious what, what that kind of call is like. So I figured I'd share it with all of you. So I am going to call right now. And uh, let's see how this goes. You have reached the Albany office of Assemblywoman Neely Rosick. We are unavailable to take your call at this time, so please leave a detailed message with your name, date, and time of call, along with your number, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. Hi, my name is Lewis Rossman. It's May 17th, 1 p.m. My phone number is... I wanted to voice my support for Assembly Bill A7006. I have a repair shop in Manhattan. I started doing this when I was broke and had about $260. And uh, several years later, I now have 15 employees that I'm able to pay a living wage to in a very expensive city without a college diploma. And this is an industry that allows me to help people that otherwise would have had no option other than to go to the manufacturer and buy a new device or lose their data and uh, every day we save people you know 300 here 600 here a thousand dollars here and we're able to pay people a living salary while doing it if you'd like to check out our store you're always welcome to see the types of jobs that are created by this industry that manufacturers are looking to take away so i just wanted to voice my support for bill a7006 as a resident of new york city and as a local business owner thank you so much for taking the time and i hope you have a good day I don't know, probably something better i could say but i'm not really good on the phone I'm not good talking to an answering machine. It's just kind of weird. All right, so there's another number. Did I get, I actually don't know if I gave my name. Did I give my name? I kind of forget if I gave my name. Oh, well, there's two numbers. So I'm going to call the next one, and we'll see if, yeah. Let's see if I do better on the next call. Hello, Assemblywoman Neely Rosick's office. How may I help you? Hi, I just wanted to leave a message in support of Bill A7006. I have a business in New York City, and I'm also a resident. Uh, okay, are you a resident in Fresh Meadows? In uh, I'm a, uh, no, I'm a resident in Brooklyn, and my business is in Manhattan. I saw that she is the chair of the Consumer Affairs Committee, which would be deciding if this gets a vote. So I called my local assembly person, and they also suggested that I speak with uh, the Consumer Affairs Committee chair. All right, I will relay that term. Thank you so much, and have a good day. Thanks, bye. That was weird, but, huh. What do you expect? Anyway, so that's about it. I just figured, again, you know, lots of people said, I don't, I'm afraid to make the call, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, what if they don't care, blah, 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 blah. Huh. That's me doing it, so, you know, you try. So, you know, again, they, they really primarily care if you live in New York. Uh, again, I, I called my local assembly person, but again, like the, the, the consumer committee chair is going to be the one that really gets this move forward, which is why I called them, even though I don't live in Fresh Meadows. Um, you know, he, he didn't ask for my name or my number, so I sincerely, that, that, that's most likely like when, when someone gives Kevin like some, some weird thing to give to me and it winds up in the garbage. Maybe it winds up in the garbage, maybe it doesn't, but hey, I did my part, and uh, I also called the uh, direct number that goes past the gatekeepers. So maybe she gets my voicemail. Uh, there's also an email located down below. Uh, this is a bill that actually has some chance of passing this year. As I mentioned in this video, there was someone who was very, very anti-right to repair that used to be the Consumer Affairs Committee chair, and that person got voted out of office, so we don't no longer have to deal with them. And a lot of the people that replace the people who are anti-right to repair in the New York legislature are people who are pro-right to repair, so I think it's kind of important. If we are a New York State resident, New York City resident, you care about right to repair, that you let them know that it matters to you. 
So that was me doing it. And well, ho hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable doing it yourself. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.